So, so in the IT field, the the continuous learning is essential. How do you stay updated with the latest technologies and industry trends? A question answered the answer. You know the the way you ask the question, the answer is already there. Like continuous learning, that means you cannot stop learning. You have to keep upgraded yourself every single day. Like you know, don't stop learning. Like said Jenkins, you know when I I got trained in chess uh, for you, we learn everything in in about Jenkins, right? But when I enter into the real world, I said that okay, yes, Jenkins is not that so small things. It's like thousands of other things in Jenkins. I can give you a practical example, right? You know, in Jenkins, like you know, when a job is triggered. So that Jenkins can send you a message in your Slack channel that my, I'm I'm going to start a job or, or or I'm starting a job. So when I first joined in the company, my manager told me, Kaiser, can you do this? Can you do something on the Jenkins jobs? Like whenever some jobs, like some developers or you, someone is triggering a job, I want to see a notification in Slacks. Yep. Right. So then I didn't know how to do this one at the beginning because I was not trained on this one. Right. So I started learning, okay, how to do this one. I search online. I, I, I try to see the documentation, if they have any documentation or is there any other team they're using these Slack things or not. So I search everything. I, I try, I learn, uh, I search in the, uh, in the you know, and, and Google, I Google everything. And then I found out a solution that yes, it is possible. Okay, that is one thing. And the second thing my manager told me that, okay, Kaiser, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, sorry. The second thing my manager told me that, okay, guys, that this one is done. Thank you very much for this. Now I want notification in the email notification. Like whenever like a Jenkins job is triggered, I want a notification in the Slack channel, as well as I want a notification in email that whenever a job is successfully done or fail or whatever the status is, I want to see that email also. So I did the same thing again, you know, the process, like I started researching on it. I talked to the people who knows about it. And then I saw, I, I, I was researching the confluence document the company had. Unfortunately, they didn't have any documents, but finally I could figure it out based on my learning. Like I researched on that and I, I did that part as well. So, you know, those things like uh, uh, integrating your Slack notification, integrating the email notification, I didn't learn uh, like when I was in training in Tesfari, right? But I learned after I joined the company. Yes. The reason is I keep continue learning about Jenkins because I had to work on Jenkins. So to keep up with the like uh, the tools, uh, uh, the advancement of the tools and technology, you have to keep continuing learning. Yes, that's the only so, thing. I think no other shortcut. Yep. So with echoing with this, so you don't need to be panicked on any new task or anything else. As as he started, like um, um we know this. You cannot learn everything in IT on any tools or any technologies but you need to be open. You need to open, like if some, something is asked, yes, I'm going to look into this. I have not done before, but don't worry about it. I'm going to do the full research and I'm going to actually get back to you. This is a good answer. If you say flat, no, it's not a good answer. So once you start doing it, actually nowadays, almost everything is online somewhere. But the, your research, your time, this is the reason you are there, okay? Because um, the IT engineering, nothing is, ready-made okay we actually do our work diligently uh, do the research do the troubleshooting uh, the, the 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 put together our thoughts and all our research and then we actually go somewhere else okay i have done this 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 so now this is where i come sometimes we become successful some some we don't if and as he mentioned there is some other team uh, that you can look for if they're doing it and the internal documentation or the like uh, nowadays open ai and then the stake overflow. There is a lot of like a, the avenue to explore instead of just saying flatly, I don't know about it. I didn't do this. So you didn't do this. It means you're telling, I do not want to do this. Just say it, I have not done before, but don't worry about it. I'm going to do the full research and get back to you. Uh, I want to assign a task for me. That's the, how the manager wants to see the approach. Do you understand anything? I said it, you're good? Yes, yes. 